What's up with it, party people? Tonight I'm going to tell you a shitty tale that I wrote for a great friend of mine. And uh, there's meaning in it, maybe, if you look hard enough. Really hard deep down inside. You might find your own genitals. Mmm, won't that be nice? <sighs> Jimmy opened his eyes. The sunlight burned his retinas like fire. He had not seen the sun in many years. He had spent this time locked away in a small room. ISU, Intensive Segregation Unit. The reason for this was because of the immense fury that dwelled deep inside of his mind. The tumultuous storms that plagued his soul caused him great discomfort. When the levee broke, his anger and sorrow would pour out from him like blood. Anyone unfortunate enough to be caught within the path of this tornado of wrath would regret it quite quickly. <laughs> mm. Jimmy could not control his sadness, which in turn fueled his hatred and henceforth led him to commit the crime for which he was now incarcerated. Huge Jimmy Hugh was a mountain of a man. He had been a problem inmate from the beginning. No prison could contain him safely. He had injured numerous guards and was the scourge of fellow inmates. I'm talking about shanking that ass, baby, putting holes in them bitches. That's how we do up in this bitch. At least that, those that survived. <laughs> In an attempt to curtail this problem, the state had hidden him deep away in the ISU under the bowels of the maximum security prison where he was held. But he was still making their jobs miserable. Something had to be done. They wanted to kill that motherfucker. The innovative new containment center where Jimmy was transferred to was an experimental, last-ditch effort, new facility that they were testing on the worst of the worst. And Jimmy was the test subject for the trial run to see if it would uh, take hold of his imagined psyche. <sighs> they did not have high expectations as they felt Jimmy was beyond all hope. When they threw him in the enclosure, it took a moment for his eyes to adjust to the intense bright light of the sun above him see the fucking sun finally. Blinding! When he could discern his surroundings, he realized he was in a large arboretum. There were many various plants surrounding him in the enclosed garden, high walls all around, on each side enclosing him. In the center of the large space, he could see four bright red flowers, so vibrant in their crimson hues that they seemed to be aflame. He inhaled the fresh air, and it soothed his lungs. Open air! There was no roof to his new cell. His mind immediately raced to the possibility of escape. Finally, it was in his grasp. His eyes scanned the massive walls for a foothold, anything he could use to climb to his freedom. They were smooth and rock hard. Jimmy picked up a rock and began to pound it against the stone walls in a futile attempt to break through his newfound prison. Freedom. Pshh! A loudspeaker blared at him from the wall. The nectar of the flower is only as sweet as the mind that tastes it. The fuck does that mean? Jimmy exclaimed incredulously. Fuck you and fuck your flowers. His anger had risen to the forefront of his mind. The ocean of passion inside him was overflowing spilling out of his insides in a deluge, ready to consume his mind and the world all around him. He saw red, and in an instant he began to go berserk, snapping small trees like twigs, uprooting shrubs and bushes as if they were nothing at all, and trampling those motherfucking flowers before him in a blind rage. After he surveyed the damage around him, there was nothing left to destroy, and the landscape was unrecognizable. The natural beauty of the plants and flowers was gone. Everything was in disarray and scattered about like a natural disaster. 
When he saw the devastation he had caused, he fell to the dirt, exhausted, and sleep washed over. When he awoke, he saw four seeds sitting in the food slot on a small tray within the main door. The nectar of the flowers, only as sweet as the mind that tastes it. The loudspeaker boomed again. What the hell? Where was his food? He was tired and starving. Was he supposed to eat these red seeds in the door? Maybe he could plant them and they would bear fruit to eat. Shit, he had to try something. Jimmy grabbed the seeds and walked over to the flower box in the center of the room. There was nothing left of the bright red flowers that had been here before. He had torn them to shreds in his anger Jimmy and frustration. Jimmy brushed the soil aside and planted the seeds in the loose ground. Um, he knelt in front of them and prayed for mercy. He asked for the plants to grow quickly and for them to provide him some sustenance. As if in an answer to his prayers, a heavy rain began to fall, watering the newly planted seeds with the essence they needed to sustain them. The cold rain chilled Jimmy's bones. He held a lump against the wall, shivering in misery in an attempt to escape the torrential downpour. As the droplets rolled off his face, he closed his eyes and tried to get comfortable. It was hours before he was finally able to drift off to sleep again. When Jimmy opened his eyes, the only thing he could see were the bright red flowers in front of him. Mm, they were so red that they stood out over all the desolate rain-soaked landscape of his ruined cell that he had destroyed. The loudspeaker clicked on once again. The nectar of the flower is only as sweet as the mind that tastes it. What do you want from me? Jimmy shouted. Am I supposed to eat this shit? Sadness rose inside of him once again. Were they going to let him starve to death in there? Was that what this revolutionary treatment was about? A slow and painful death? Hmm. Did he deserve this torment? His stomach was rumbling and burning. His hunger was creeping up out of his throat, and his tongue was dry and cracked. He choked back a sob as if his anguish washed over him. Maybe this was it. Maybe this was the end. Tears began to well in his eyes and began to fall down his cheeks. The sadness and pain didn't transition to anger as it usually did. He was too weak from starvation. Jimmy stumbled over to the flower bed where the bright flowers bloomed in the sun. Is this what you want from me? He gently plucked one of the flowers from the wet ground and as he turned it over in his hands, wondering if it was safe to eat, his tears fell onto the petals and made the bright crimson appear. Blood red. Fuck it. Jimmy put the flower into his mouth and began to chew. It tasted bitter on his tongue. The blood red petals felt thick and tough as he chewed them. It tasted horrible, but he was desperate. This was better than starving to death, was it not? He uprooted the second flower, then the third and fourth, cramming them down his throat. Blah, 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 blah. Jimmy was on the verge of hysterics. Surely the little nutrients would not be enough to sustain him long enough for survival. He needed real food soon or he would starve to death. He looked down at the empty flower bed through his blurry tears, expecting to see more food there, hoping, praying. But there was nothing. Emptiness. He looked around him to see if he could salvage any of the other plants around him for food, but there was nothing. He had fucked it all up in a blind rage. His blurry vision began to shift and swim before him. He began to see spots and red waves cover the ground in front of him. Was he hallucinating or just imagining it? Maybe he was tripping balls. Waves of heat and cold flowed through Jimmy's body. He felt the ground retching. They must have poisoned him. The flowers were not meant to be eaten. As he tried to make sense of the kaleidoscope of colors he was seeing before him, a vision began to take shape. Faces began to spring from the ground all around him. Burning red eyes looked into his soul and ravenous teeth tore at his flesh. As the phantom demons terrorized him, Jimmy saw something far off in the distance. It appeared to be a white light floating on the horizon, as if bobbing up and down on a sea of Pulsed before him, getting brighter and brighter until it had blinded him. 
voice boomed from all around him, loud and resonant. It was not the same as the voice on the loudspeaker, however. Do not fear. Obey. The noise shook Jimmy's flesh as it resounded through him. What was happening? What did it all mean? He tried to make sense of it as uh, the disorientation overwhelmed him. He couldn't fight the darkness any longer and he collapsed unconscious as it finally washed over him. He was awoken again by the loudspeaker. The nectar of the fruit is only as sweet as the mind that tastes it. Once again, he saw the red seeds on the tray and the door. Jimmy wasn't ready to relive the nightmare of yesterday again. He was beyond hunger, beyond anger and sorrow, beyond caring at all. He had simply given up finally and surrendered to the hopelessness of his situation. If he was meant to die, he would finally accept his fate. Everything he loved and cared for had been taken away from him, rended through his grasp as he struggled to hold it tight. It slipped through his fingers like sand falling through an hourglass. When you've got nothing left to lose, well, that's when nothing can stop you at all. He still wanted to live, though, for some odd reason. He still wanted to keep on keeping on, baby. What did they mean, sweet is the mind? It made no sense. Once you have given up all hope and let go of yourself and everything around you, all that is left is to obey. Jimmy struggled to his feet. He shuffled across the ruined garden and scraped up the seeds, turning them over in his hand. They glimmered in the sunlight, so beautiful and mysterious. Suddenly his mind clicked. He had an idea. He took one of the seeds and placed it into his forehead. Applying a gentle pressure, his finger began to pulse and his flesh gave way to it, enveloping the seed <laughs> as he pushed it into his skull. The seed of the mine had been planted. Suddenly, Jimmy felt peace. His breathing slowed. The hunger pains dissipated and he lo no longer knew anger or sadness. O overwhelm only overwhelming joy. He no longer was confused about how to proceed. The path forward was crystal clear. He plucked the remaining seeds off the ground and placed one underneath his skin, giving him overwhelming strength of character and fortifying his body. He planted another in his stomach, and the anxiety he had previously felt evaporated. He had the courage to face the pain and misery of the world around him, and the ambition to rediscover all that he had loved and lost. The last seed he placed deep into his heart, which made him feel truly alive. His faith was restored, and he knew that he would never have to experience fear again. His future was illuminated. He saw a bright light in the distance, pulsing. His heat radiated out of his body, and he began to levitate up into the sky. <laughs> As he rounded the tops of the high walls, he knew that he had finally escaped. Drifting off into the night, he was finally 